Mount Pleasant footballers are back in training after the Christmas break, continuing their preparation for the 2020-2021 Jamaica Premier League. The COVID-19 pandemic is definitely not slowing down the work of the Mount Pleasant technical staff as technical director Wally Downs is gearing the squad's preparation for them to be ready the moment the government gives the go-ahead for the start of the league. Well, we gave the players a break over Christmas because the, the season didn't start yet. And while they were away, we gave them a strict program to, to adhere to. Uh, we've given them GPS systems that are tucked into the vests that they wear while they're away. And they feed their data back into our unit back at the training ground. And everybody kept up a great level of fitness while they were away. Uh, we monitored their weights while they were away. And only one player came back one pound overweight. So that was very, very good. And this week, we've worked on strength and conditioning and running to try and get them back up to the levels they were at before they left. Uh, they wouldn't have lost much fitness because of the programme that we gave them, but uh, the first two days we've just assessed how they've come back and what their levels are like. And today was the first real day we've got the balls out and uh, the boys were very keen to get on the ball and they did very well. Down says the players' fitness and work were monitored while they were on the break. He adds that it has been a little frustrating for him and coach Paul Tiga Davis, as well as the players, with no match activity. However, he has commended the players on their attitude. The technical director Downs went on to explain in full what has been happening during the period of no competitive football. Well, it's been very frustrating for me, so God knows what it's like for the players, because when I came uh, working with Paul, uh, we worked out a pre-season programme for six weeks, which would have taken us up to the first start time. That was cancelled, so we had, to, we had to monitor it a little bit differently and elongate the, the period. But then, you know, we've gone sort of 14, 15 weeks now without playing the game. So I can only commend the players for their attitude during training because it's very frustrating for me as a manager or as a, as a technical director and Paul as manager to prepare players and then have nothing to gauge it with. So 100% uh, effort from the players, keeping their enthusiasm up, which is, you know, a lot to do with the coaching as well. The sessions have to be good for them and keep them playing. But they're certainly uh, desperately looking forward to playing and giving a good, good account of themselves for Mount Pleasant this year. But the important thing we have this year is uh, the games are going to be crammed together a lot. And uh, if we can get as much knowledge and team play and pattern play and organisation into the players before the season starts, that would be better because during the season, I'm hearing that the games will be very, very close together at a weekend. Then recovery time is going to be critical. You know, you'll be going from two games, the body needs to recover, so you won't have much time for long sessions of training mm -hmm. uh, between games. So as much as we can get information into the players now, the better. And then during the season, it'll be rest and recovery during the, the periods between games. We've been training for the best part of 15 weeks now. And my aim with, with my staff and the physios and Paul was to deliver every player fit after six weeks for TGAC to be able to select the team that he wanted. Pre-season, your only aim is to deliver those players for the manager to select the team that he wanted. And if the, the season would have started on its due date, we'd done that. And that will be our aim this time. The, the coaching sessions and the planning must be geared to giving TGAT the best chance of success. And the best chance of success is being able to pick his best 11 players from the squad that we've got. So everybody needs to be fit. And at the moment, everybody is fit apart from Cardell, who has a very, very minor hamstring injury. Coach Paul Tigat davis says the players are significantly mentally prepared for the league, despite the on and off situation. I think we're doing pretty well. It's a bit tricky in a sense, that, you know, the on and off thing, but I think we're kind of preparing the guys um, that if the, the league starts tomorrow, we are, we are really ready, you know. Because, you know, that's, it's a mental thing right now, more than even the football on the field. You know, if you can play with your mental and get them mentally strong, whenever the football comes along, you know, they're, they're ready. I think around 85 you know, you know, 85 percent, you know. You guys don't know what that, what's an on. You know, the city is out with the league and everything, you know, so, and they're working with us hard, you know, so. For right now, it's good. I think the players are more anxious than me, you know, yeah, and they're anxious. I think the right now, if the, if the league starts tomorrow, they're ready. You know, they just, they just want to play some football. They miss the, 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 the football. They miss the whole atmosphere and all those things. Even myself miss it, but most of the players, them, they just want to get going. 
think we're moving in the right direction. We brought in on some wonderful coaches, you know, of additional to the team. You know, even myself, we have learned a lot from them, you know, the, the word professionalism, which we know, but, you know, to enhance us and make us realize more what it's all about, you know, Wally and Nick and Russell guys, and it's, it's wonderful. Yeah, we are, you know, we are, it doesn't say we weren't professional, but, you know, say we were 75, I think now we are 100, 105, you know. It's more, you know, more organized and, and in the way we want to go with this football and the club. I think we're moving in the right direction. I wish it could start tomorrow because you know, the guys don't want to really play, you know. But we have to just wait on the Ministry of Health. You know, health comes first and with all this pandemic, we just have to just wait. But whenever it's ready, I think the guys are ready. They just want to play some football. Uh, we have some two guys from Guyana. He you know, our goalkeeper and the centre back. Um, Shoeshine, he, he used to play, I think, for Bel Belgium, Sony from Portmore. That, mm, that four, I think, yeah. They're quality players can the team, you know. Meanwhile, team captain Ladale Richie says the players are eager to get back into action in the league. Richie led the team to second place last season when the league ended prematurely in March and was at the helm when Mount Pleasant produced a top four placing in their inaugural appearance in the top flight league. Says this time around, clean sheets will be a major feature of Mount Pleasant's games. Well, um, it's a long wait, so I think all of us, the fans and players, are very excited to get back on the pitch. We think we was in a good position of winning last season, or even finishing um, better than the season before. But um, I think this season, um, we're very eager and have something to prove. I think we're going to give a good account of ourselves. Well, can I um, expect some good games, a lot of clean sheet, very hungry. And a point to prove. Shuley McCullough was among the top performing players coming out of the last season, being employed at right full back and left back for the most part, while also getting on the score sheet as well. Thought Mount Pleasant could have won the league last season. And while anticipating the start of the action for this season, he's advising teams to stick to the protocols to enable an early return to action. Wow, um, it, was, it was disappointing because, you know, we had a good team and we were prepared well. <laughs> we were prepared well, so um, we think that we could have won the league last season. We've been preparing, I think um, our bodies in um, good shape, but we're not there as yet. But um, we keep working until this we can put the team together to compete in the league. The atmosphere is good um, while away from football, you know. It was something um, unusual, so I guess it wasn't the same on the mind, but getting back here and playing again, um, it's awesome, it feels good. It's a good feeling, you know, football coming back, it's a good feeling. Uh, we are, we're very excited about the restart, so I'm advising our team to just um, stick with the, the rules and regulations of the, the lockdown COVID. So. Um, we just want the league to start.